what's up YouTube welcome back to the Starnes Built channel I got a dangerous video today with a slight experiment at the end um, Lincoln tell my viewers what we're doing we're gonna um, be cleaning the aluminum off the crankshaft I couldn't have said it better myself good job buddy we're gonna be cleaning aluminum off a crankshaft by giving these things an acid bath um, in um, hydrochloric acid or in this case muriatic acid they're both the same um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna pull you guys in close, let you examine what's going on, and uh, it's actually snowing in Georgia right now, randomly. Anyway, so let me pull you in close, and I'll show you what we got. Okay, guys. So <clears throat> that's what we're working with. This is a close up of it. Um, so I've got crankshafts here in various stages of foobar. There's only two of which I'm interested in fix trying to fix. Um, I have a, a, a genuine Honda crankshaft out of a an actual Honda GX340. And then the crankshaft out of a Predator 420, uh, both of which slung a rod and left some aluminum on the crank pin. Um, I don't know if it's galled. I don't know if it's scored. So it feels like it's just built up on there. So we're going to attempt to melt it off with some acid. So I'm going to start by kind of explaining to you what we're going to be doing. We're going to be putting these crankshafts in this little container. This container is made out of high-density polyethylene, uh, otherwise known as HDPE. Um, that plastic is resistant to the acid, which is the container that the acid comes in. Um, so we're going to be basically giving these things a bath in acid, okay? Now let me just go ahead and state the obvious. Uh, you're dealing with some very corrosive liquids here. This, this, this acid is no joke, um, so you want to make sure you have proper PEE, uh, I'm gonna, or PPE, sorry. Uh, I'm talking about respirator, eye protection. Uh, you need to be wearing full clothing. Um, and definitely be uh, protecting your hands with some nitrile gloves or some sort of uh, glove that's resistant to acid. Um, and then after we get all this done, uh, we're going to be safely neutralizing the acid uh, with some baking soda and essentially making salt water. So stay tuned. Let me get the, uh, the area cleared off and set up, and then uh, we're going we're gonna to start giving these things a bath, see what happens. All right, guys, so I'm kind of somewhat set up over here. I, I want to bring you in close, let you look at the uh, crank pan, what I'm talking about. So I don't know if the aluminum's just built up on here, but I can I can feel it. I, I don't know if this is going to save this crank, but I already had it in my mind. I was buying a new crank anyway, so, you know, obviously that's aluminum there built up on it. But I don't know. You know, I'm, I'm not really sure what's going to happen here. I just, um, I know the hydrochloric acid each aluminum but won't hurt, really hurt the steel as long as you don't leave it in there too long but that right there is what I'm trying to see if it will come off I don't know if that's damaged crank pin or just aluminum built up on there so uh, welcome to the grand experiment if this works how do, how do you do I ain't got to buy a crankshaft um, so let's get this thing in the container which is right here and I'll get y'all up on a tripod and uh, we'll start dumping some acid on it All right, guys. I'm about to dump it in. Yep. I don't know if y'all can see it. It's so disgusting. Don't smell it, Link. Oh yeah, it does smell funny, huh? I'm gonna, I'm gonna clean this whole crank up. That's what it looks like in the acid bath, guys. So, uh, you know, we're gonna, we're gonna wait a few minutes and we're gonna flip it over, do the other side, but I uh, thought I'd give you a little update. All right, guys, it's been a few minutes in here. See the crankshaft already looking a lot better. Uh, you can see the reaction going on. I don't know if you see the bubbling or not, but uh, let's go clean this whole crankshaft up. I mean, it already looks a lot better. Um, so I'm gonna give it a few more minutes in here, let it uh, do some more soaking, and we'll pull it out and uh, we're gonna take a gander. All right, guys, it's been a little time. Let's open this thing up, take a look. Hopefully, I got a crankshaft in here that ain't totally dissolved. I mean, <clears throat> the acid has completely cleaned the entire crankshaft. There's very little rust left on it, apparently. 
Uh, so this is about as long as I'm comfortable with leaving this thing in here. So uh, we're going to pull it out. We're going to dunk it in some water. And then uh, we're going to take a closer look. Hang tight. Guys, I am going to say, <clears throat> excuse me, that this was a resounding success. I mean, and really all I really cared about was the, uh, the journal here, the crank pen. Come on, focus, please. Focus? Yes? No? Um, it is fairly smooth. I mean, there is no buildup on it anymore. It looks nice and flat and square. Um, at this point, the, the really only, only other thing you need to do, which I will be doing, is polishing this. I'm probably going to start with 600 grit sandpaper and cut strips. And then uh, wrap it around the journal and uh, go from there. And then we'll work our way up to 1200. And uh, we'll see how she looks. So let me get set up for that. Let me cut some strips. And let's polish a uh, crank pin. Alright guys, that's how it looks after one pass with the 800. Uh, looks like I'm going to have to do this quite a few times, so let me uh, let me get you guys back on a tripod. Let me hammer this out. I'm probably going to go through maybe two more strips, see how it looks, and then I'll bring you guys in for a close-up. Guys, I reckon we are getting somewhere with this here crankshaft. I mean, it is looking good. That's two passes with 800 grit. I mean, it is shiny, man. Oh, no focus. Yeah, no, maybe so. Okay. All right. <clears throat> so let me cut some strips of a thousand grit. We're gonna run out a few times, and I'll bring you back, bring you uh, guys back in for a close up on that one. That's one pass with a thousand. I mean, I could technically stop there, but I'm gonna do one more pass with a thousand, and then we're gonna move up a notch to some 1200, and we're really gonna put some shine on it. We'll be right back, guys. All right, that's two passes with thousand grit. Uh, I mean, 
I mean, it's already good. I mean, you're if you're at this point, you're okay. But I'm going to take it up to 1200. Really put a shine on it, and then we're gonna hit it with some metal polish, and uh, hopefully see ourselves in it. So yeah, let's do that. Yep, we have arrived. <clears throat> I mean, <laughs> it is looking good. Here it is. So, I mean, I'm gonna take it a step further. I'm gonna cut some strips out of my uh, microfiber here, and um, I got some some mother's mag polish, and we're just gonna do the same thing with some polish, and uh, I mean, see if we can make it any better than that. So, uh, yeah, let me tripod you guys, and we'll do that right now. Guys, I don't think that I could be any happier with how this whole thing turned out. I mean, hold on. Let me get it focused. Let me get it to focus. Look at that. Oh, my. Look at that. Let me think back to the beginning of the video when I first put this thing in the acid bath, what it used to look like. Now look at it. I believe that I have got a usable crankshaft here. So there's one, one more thing that I'm going to do. Uh, I'm going to hit the crank on the wire wheel, and then we will be back for a final look and farewell. Guys, look at that. We have brought this crankshaft back from the dead. That's the final product. That's it. Now I don't have to buy a crankshaft. And the best part about it is this is a genuine Honda uh, forged crankshaft. And this is for my GX340 that had a blown rod. And I wasn't sure what to do about the journal. And I think we are good to go. But that's it, guys. I hope this video helped somebody out. Uh, I couldn't be happier with the results. This is probably my favorite video so far on my channel I mean I just I'm so happy with how this turned out but guys thank you so much I really appreciate you guys watching if you've made it this far in the video um, this has been a real treat for me to get this uh, crankshaft going um, I got one more to do and then I'll, then it's gonna save me a lot of money and um, so anyway guys I'm gonna bid you adieu and uh, you guys have a great day evening whatever time of day it is and we'll see you on the next one